the financial market seems to be expecting a soft landing. I'm sure that's what you're aiming for, but uh, you also say that it's difficult to achieve in practice. Would you say that financial markets are a bit too optimistic at the moment? Well, you know, this is one of the main risks because now, you know, the, the, you know, the outlook that uh, markets uh, are taking with respect to the, to the, you know, the evolution of the, of the economy, uh, you know, I would say I would say that it's a little bit uh, sanguine <laughs> and uh, so optimistic, and there is a little bit of wishful thinking, if you allow me to say. So, uh, uh, if uh, you know growth is uh, below what we are expecting or what markets are expecting now, if uh, you know you have any sort of uh, let's say uh, you know additional uh, geopolitical risk. Huh? Uh, that's something that we have to take into consideration because so far even you know the situation the conflict in in the Middle East the impact on markets has been quite subdued uh, has been quite uh, quite limited well that kind of situations when you have you know a very low uh, uh, risk uh, premium for both uh, corporate bonds and, and equities uh, is something you know the any 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 sort of deviation with respect to this very benign scenario could give rise to to, 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 to problems and to you know, surprises, negative surprises, and reactions in, 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 in markets because prices are very high. What about expectations for the first interest rate cut? Currently, investors ex expect such a move as soon as April. Is that too optimistic? Well, I think that is premature to, to, to talk about that. Uh, well, uh, we have increased interest rates, uh, you know, 10 times, as you have said before. Uh, you know, we have kept, uh, you know, uh, rates on hold. Uh, we, got, we will continue with this discontinuation of our investment of, uh, you know, of APP portfolio. Let's see what happens with PEP, as I said before. And, uh, you know, and I think that, uh, you know, we are going to be data dependent. Huh? We will see how, you know, the different, uh, the, the inflation evolves over time. We believe that uh, the disinflation process uh, will, con will continue over the next two years, even though, you know, because of base effects, we, you can have some upticks of inflation uh, over the next months in the short term. But in the medium term, we expect that uh, at the present level of interest rates, you know, our monetary policy uh, will give rise to, you know, an important reduction in inflation and that uh, eventually inflation will converge to our objective of 2%. Is it a problem for you if markets believe that um, cuts will arrive relatively soon? Well, you know, markets are markets, no, <laughs> and uh, you know they, they, they make uh, their 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 bets. But I think that our communication is crystal clear. Right? Our communication is that uh, well, we are going to be data dependent. We will see, you know, how inflation evolves and other macroeconomic variables that might have you know an eventually an, influ an influence on inflation, and that's uh, our our approach, no. Well, uh, you know, I'm not going to, to, to discuss, uh, you know, market, uh, market bets, but, uh, you know, what I can tell you is that our strategy is very clear in terms of communication, data dependency, and, uh, you know, meeting by meeting, and, uh, well, uh, we'll see how things, uh, how things uh, evolve. Hmm? But I think that to uh, talk about, uh, uh, you know, rate uh, uh, cuts is a little bit premature, as I have said before.